Welcome back. The Tucson International Jewish Film Festival uses the magic and power of cinema to promote the preservation of Jewish culture and create a forum for community conversations. It provides a platform for quality, independent films from around the world that might not otherwise find a screen here. So Lynn Davis, the Jewish Community Center Director of Arts and Culture, and filmmaker Lacey Schwartz are here to tell us about the festival. Before we talk to them actually, though, let's check out this preview of Lacey's film, Little White Lie. I come from a long line of New York Jews. I grew up in a world with synagogue, Hebrew school, bar mitzvahs. So it never occurred to me that I was passing. I wasn't pretending to be something I wasn't. I actually grew up believing I was white. Show us how you can stand on your side. Oh, that's terrific. How do you do that? We lived almost picture perfect kind of life for a while. So when Lacey decided she was going to tell the story, I was a little nervous about it. If you look too closely at it, it didn't make any sense. So we found ways to see what we wanted to believe. I always looked at you like you looked black. To me, you're just like a Jewish kid who, I don't know. White people will think anything, <laughs> the crazy things. I'll know white people for a long time. Today's the day. We did it. It really is the power of denial. How the hell did anybody sort of not acknowledge this? It just seems like the 600-pound gorilla in the room to kind of just refuse to see it. When it came time to apply to college, I had to check a box. The only box I had ever known was white, so I just didn't check anything. And based off a photograph, I was admitted to college as a black student. And I was afraid of not being a part of the world that I had grown up in anymore. If I could have done my life differently, there were a lot of things I would have done differently, but in the end, not really. You know, the fact is, though, the fact is, like, whatever happened with you and Daddy and that inability to talk about things, that is what I carry on. Nobody talked about everything because it was all secrets. Wow, how thought-provoking. And Lacey, uh, you're here with us now. We were looking at the film. What made you think, I don't think it gets any more personal than this, uh, to open up a film to your story. Why yeah. did you decide to do that? Well, thank you so much for having me. I mean, yeah. I think for, for me, I made this, started making this film at a time where I was really struggling to figure out how to integrate my two identities of growing up being white and Jewish and being black. And it was completely connected to my family's secrets. And I realized when I really started thinking about it that so many of our identities are connected to these deeper issues within our families that we can't talk about. So what I decided to do was use film to deal with my own story, but also to model the process of how to have difficult conversations and why it's so important to do so and then move forward with your life. And with the film, obviously, would you say you're encouraging people to share their own little white lies, so to speak? Literally, we are. We have an interactive project set up at stories.littlewhitelithefilm.com. And we're always asking people, after they see the film, we want them less to just think about my story and really to think about engage with their own. We look at the film as a tool to be able to do so. And so when you ask people to kind of open up and, and tell you their portion, what do you end up ta what do you do with that information? Well, right now we have a Tumblr set up where it, those stories are shared, and we're asking people not only to share them, but what is motivating them to share it, why, if they move past it, what they could gain in a sense. And we're working with a lot of different organizations to develop curriculums and tools so that people can get together in circles, whether or not it's their families or their peers, and have those conversations in productive ways. And what's interesting is, you know, I'm half white, I'm half Korean, and... I'm uh, half Latin, half, uh, um, wow. you know, white, uh, so, actually half Jewish, too. So, and it, it you know, it definitely, it, it strikes a chord with a lot of different people, and, and you know, how would they deal with it? Maybe some people didn't realize what, I guess, is the little white lie, or like they were saying, the 600-pound gorilla that's in the room. Exactly. So I think this is, touches very uh, deeply with people, and this is kind of what, what we're doing the film festival all about, these films that otherwise maybe we would not be able to, to see here. <coughs> Absolutely. I mean, I think that's really the 
the gift that we have and the responsibility that we have with the Tucson International Jewish Film Festival is the ability to present these stories that are fascinating stories, that are complex stories, diverse stories from all over the world um, that you know, people wouldn't necessarily get the chance to see. And how do you select a film? to be in the festival. We have a very dedicated group of volunteers that meets for the good part of a year um, to look at films weekly. So we scour other festival programs, we have relationships with directors and distributors, and <clears throat> excuse me, we look at I would say over 60 films over the course of six months or so <coughs> to <coughs> distill it down to the tw you know 20 that, that end up mm -hmm. in the festival. And over the 24 years that this festival has been around, how have you seen it grown or what it, what's happened with this festival? It's definitely grown. Um, the audience has grown. The pool of films that we get to choose from has definitely grown. We've seen that films that would once only be, you know, seen in our festival seem to have gained a wider appeal. Um, <clears throat> more films show up at the loft. More films show up at at you know our local theaters, and that's fantastic. Um, that these films are gaining the audience that they, that they deserve. And so really quickly, besides, you know, Lacey's awesome story, what are some of the other films like in this festival? There, you know, we have, I would say, nine countries represented this year, um, films all over the place, narratives, documentaries, shorts, features. I would say that there's something, there's really something for everyone. We, we choose films of Jewish content and universal themes. It's got a little bit for everybody. Absolutely. And it just it shares the rich culture of the Jewish community. Absolutely. And I want to thank you both so much for coming on and Lacey for sharing your wonderful movie with us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Good, it's good to have you. And as we mentioned, the festival starts tonight and runs until the 24th. For more info, you can call 615-5432 or log on to TucsonJewishFilmFestival.org.